Hi everyone, Lisa Byington here. It's a big day because we're gonna name the Lisa Byington Award winner here today. It's Minnesota's Emma Carpenter and Emma has no idea that she's actually the winner. What she thinks she's doing is logging onto a Zoom call to finish the application process and answer some questions from folks from the conference and the network. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop on this Zoom call and surprise her and name her the winner as the second annual Lisa Byington Award winner. So we'll see how this goes. Hi, Emma. Hi, Lisa, how are you? Oh my gosh, what a surprise. <laughs> well, uh, thanks for joining us. And um, we're gonna make this final part of the application process really, really easy for you. And what I mean by that is that there is no more final application process. So I am happy to announce Emma Carpenter you are the winner of our second annual Lisa Byington Award. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, this is just hard. <laughs> oh my gosh, Lisa, I cannot tell you how thankful I am. Wow, this is just the greatest honor that I've had in my career up to this point. I cannot thank you enough. I just I feel so honored. I feel so fortunate. Um, wow, you really caught me off guard. <laughs> that was the point. We, we like to have fun uh, here at the network. And so we wanted a little bit of the surprise factor, but I just wanted to share with you a couple of reasons why I personally was so impressed by you. Number one, I just appreciated the story that you told about your golfer and, and for people who are going to be watching this, you know, you were a golfer at Minnesota, but then you chose in high school to not try out for the, the girls team. You tried out for the boys team. And I just was so impressed by that too. As a female in a male dominated world, you were unafraid to put yourself in spaces where you are a minority. And so that showed me that you had fortitude and fight to try to normalize female broadcasters in this business. And so first and foremost, I was impressed with that story. Thank you so much. That that really, really means a lot to me. Um, that experience that I had beginning when I was only 14 years old, initially really um, learning about what it's like to be a female in a male dominated field, industry, um, sport, all of the above. Um, it's really, really kind of prepared me and just driven me more to go on and uh, pursue my passion amongst uh, a lot of others, main, mainly male, you know, uh, mainly d male dominated industry. Um, and it's just my, my passion for sports, my passion for broadcast, all of it has just continued to to drive me and motivate me to work harder, to go above and beyond and do whatever it takes to to prove that women deserve a voice just as much as men do in this field. Well, not only that, but then just the work that you put in, you made the most of the Student U program at Minnesota and you were so versatile. You were doing you know, podcasts, you were a play-by-play, -play, you were an analyst, you were a reporter. Um, your supervisor even said that you weren't, you, you didn't shy away from going behind the scenes as well. So being the ultimate team player, your versatility, um, your voice. You know, I, I kind of jumped out of my seat when I was evaluating your reel. I think you have an incredible voice and you have an incredible presence. And so um, it was, you know, the voters came from the Big Ten Network and the Big Ten Conference, including myself. And um, we were all just so, so impressed with the work that you've put together at Minnesota. Wow, that means so much coming from you, Lisa. I cannot thank you enough. I've really looked up for look, looked up to you for a very long time. And uh, the more that I've learned, the more that I've learned how difficult it is and how much work it really requires. And it's just made me uh, just that much more excited to keep going, keep learning. I've learned so much through the Student U program. I know for a fact that um, I wouldn't be where I am today without it. And uh, Gosh, that just, it means so much coming from you. I can't thank you enough. I'm, I'm kind of speechless right now. Okay, no, I appreciate the transparency and the genuine emotion. That's what we want. That's what we want with this award. So um, we are connected now. You're, you're stuck with me for good and however you want to use me to help you. And then there'll be people from the conference, Emma, and the network who will follow up with you. And then you will get a, an entire Big Ten Network experience and I'll be with you um, on your side. We'll set that up in the, in the near future.
future, you will get a, a tour of the Big Ten Network. You'll get to meet some on-air talent, some producers, some directors. You'll get to meet some Big Ten Network um, executives, and it'll just be a full, complete, and wonderful day. Plus, we 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 give you some free food. We give you a free lunch, and who doesn't oh, love free <laughs> food, right? <laughs> That sounds very nice, but gosh, that sounds absolutely amazing. That's an experience and that is an experience that I will carry with me through the rest of my career, the rest of my life. So, I mean, this is really life changing, Lisa. I cannot thank you enough. I know I've said I can't thank you enough, but. <laughs> well, you were so deserving and it makes me feel good um, to see how appreciative you are. So congrats on the work you put in and Emma, you, um, you know, the sky is the limit for you here in the future. And congrats again on being the, the second annual Lisa Byington Award winner. Thank you so much, Lisa. I really, really look forward to meeting you in person. Likewise. Well, how awesome was that? I love seeing Emma's reaction. It was so natural and so appreciative. And that's what this award is all about, is to create opportunities for very deserving female broadcasters in Big Ten country who are gonna make this broadcasting world a better place here in the future. It was awesome. Thanks for watching, everyone.